Here we are at the Palmer Boat Show and we are on the Serena 68. This is the first time we've been on board and wow, very impressed so far. Obviously we're here on the back deck, back cockpit, massive, massive entertaining area. We've walked around and this is such a great entertainer's boat. It's quite nice to have this drop down awning behind us, nice little touch. This rear cockpit dining area is divine, you know, really large, whether you just want to lounge back here while you're underway and cruise, very comfortable. It's a really great angle, big thick cushions here, this table, beautiful inlay with probably a bit of uh, corian in here and a bit of stainless, really lovely, just touch and finished. You could fit at least eight people. Straight away we've got a lovely little wet bar here, this uh, is an option where you can have some storage and another little ice maker on the back deck. What is really nice is this window opens and closes, so it's, uh, it's another extension to a, a serving buffet maybe for, for the galley, which is right here, but with the quick operation of, for pack up, full up and down mechanism. We walk straight in this galley. Now I want to point out this has got the elegance line, this boat. So it's got the dark timber, the dark accent walls. It is a dark boat, but it, with, the, with all the windows you see around this boat, it's, it's not overbearing or overwhelming. As we walk straight into this galley, which is lovely positioned off the aft deck here, very connected to anyone who's back there in the lounging area, dining area here. It's a very central positioned uh, galley. Got a nice large refrigeration, freezer space below. And everywhere you look, there's cupboards, Miller induction cooktop, an oven, a dishwasher. A few other practical features in the galley. You've got a, a little opening window here, just next to the cooktop. Gets all the smells and, and smoke out. Of course, you've got your range hood above. Also a little rubbish bin. Everything's sort of perfectly placed for, for cooking. On the inboard side, plenty of drawers, cutlery. The double sink is, is lovely, especially for washing up. The dining table's perfect. When it's a little bit too windy or unpleasant outside, you can come in here, nice glass, stainless finishes on the, uh, the dining table. Six people is, is, would be quite easy here. Venetian blinds up and down, massive, massive windows. Everywhere you look is a large bay window. It's just a lovely, homely space. As the same with the 58 and the 88, the, they're very homely. You know, you're here in a nice lounging area, got a beautiful pop-up TV against the window there. Whether you're gonna have a lay down here, feet up, this is actually my spot right here. Like many of the other Serena models, got plenty of storage here but a few things I want to point out you've got a great wine fridge here good for probably 25 bottles draw space there but what's I always love with this nice little touch all engraved Serena glasses they can all be stowed great safety for underway obviously all your cups and then plates all with the Serena insignia on it. Really smart use of space. The nice thing with this boat's 68 foot, you've got a huge area to play with, but if you're an owner operator, which traditionally a lot of Australian owners are, it's not an overwhelming boat to drive. Whether you're up driving from down here, you have great visibility, 360 degrees. Obviously the galley takes a bit of a, a blind spot there, but it's, it's, it's fine. You've got cameras, you've got massive, look at the size of these Garmin screens. It's very comfortable here. This seat does move back and forth. Obviously you've got your helm wheel here. You've got the Volvo drive side power thrusters, bow and stern, plenty of power there. The great thing from the helm here, with the push of a button, you've got side access, which is gonna bring in lovely air straight away on this hot day but for docking maneuvering going from inside to the bow area it's just real simple 
plenty of width to go through here. Nice, simple, laid out as per Serena Yachts always does. Everything's a nice, simple on and off operation. I think this is almost one of the pieces de resistance of this whole lower helm area is having this, it's almost like a little bit breakfast nook here. If you could be underway here, going on your passage and having breakfast here, captain's driving there, and uh, you're sitting here, you could either be doing some work or just having your cup of tea in the morning. This is lovely. It's like a, an IMAX theatre. Look at this IMAX theatre right in front of us. So going downstairs, what I, uh, you do see, you don't have as much stainless on this boat. All the rails are wrapped in leather, which is really nice. Sort of softens it, but here I think it's a really great feature, especially with this darker wood. You've got this window that brings straight down into the, uh, the stairwell into the lower deck. Now, as you see with the Serena 68, it has a cutout in the bulwarks. So that light is just radiating down here. The safety of going down these stairs is, is paramount. It is, a, uh, it is a nice spiral staircase. It's just easy coming down with the leather posts. You've got a hand grip the whole way down. And even if you have to, you've still got grip up here above just on that last few steps, but you've got quite a lot of head clearance too. So for the tall people, that's quite important. Probably got a two meter head clearance here. A little bit less coming through the door, but actually it's probably two meters through the door. Here in the master cabin, an equally beautiful place to be. Large queen size bed. Obviously we're not getting the amount of natural light we would normally have while at anchor. However, you've got two huge hull windows here on either side, a full beam master cabin. There is an opening porthole on each side. And if we didn't have a boat on either side of us here, it would be uh, a very, well lit area so while with this elegance line it is all the dark colors which i don't even feel is overbearing we're in a dark room now with the sides with boats on either side but you can have the flip side of it which is the serenity interior which is the complete opposite color scheme it's a much lighter interior both floors and walls and all the accents but either way they this isn't an overbearing color for being a dark color i hope the the, uh, the camera picks up how well it does look. I think what is really cool here, I'm always a bit funny about these downstairs couches, but it does work for preparation. And this for the ladies is a lovely jewelry box makeup area. It's got a little mirror there. So as you're getting ready to go out for, for a meal or to start your day, you've got a beautiful vanity. Something I do want to show, like the thickness of these doors, it's so well done. Closes there, everything's nice flush mounted. They have made a recess there for the seal there, which is going to give a lot of insulation, no noise transferring through for people coming in and out. Rounded door handles, which is always a, a nice thing to see on boats so you don't get caught. And then this beautiful telly just flush mounted perfectly into the wall here for nighttime viewing. There's no shortage of storage on the Serena 68. The whole starboard side is full of drawers. So for all your clothing there, you've got a storage under the bed as you'd normally have. But as you walk here into the, um, the bathroom, the head, you've got, it's almost a walk-in walk -in closet. You've got huge cupboard space there with hanging racks. This has got owner's belongings on it, so I don't want to get too personal, but you've got nice hanging top and bottom. All the cupboards here have got mirrors on, so it's a lovely area to be preparing for, for going out, getting ready, or just waking up and making it feel a lot bigger than what this area really is. As you come into the bathroom, this is a great bathroom. You got a large mirror here, reflective lights, towel hooks, but you walk into this shower. This shower is definitely the business. We've got an overhead rain, rain shower here, Got a big seating area if you did want a seat to have a, a shower. You've got also a little handhold faucet. Nice drainage, which is quite discreet into the floor here. But look at the size of this. It's massive. Now, as we walk through the foyer here into the other three cabins, we've got so much space to play with. Even if you're underway, it's, uh, it's, you're not gonna be bumping into the walls the whole way. Quite a couple of nice features here. We've got a laundry area, which is centrally positioned. 
washer dryer here, preparation area here. You've got a fold out ironing board over just in the uh, aft section here. But what's quite nice, this boat has a day head. So like what a lot of manufacturers do these days, they use a centrally positioned uh, bathroom for one of the twin share cabins and use it as a day head. Um, it works perfect, you've got your toilet, lovely big shower once again. Just another great use of space in here. Obviously you've got some storage to put your toiletries in. Got another seat, hand faucet for showering and discreet drainage on the floor. It's a really lovely bathroom, especially for being the day head. Now, when we start to travel aft, we open this door and we're into the twin share cabin. Some nice features too, in all the doorways, you've got Serena yachts engraved into the stainless plate. We step down here into the twin share cabin. It's adequate, it's perfect. It's great for kids, great for an overflow of guests. Serena also do these little touchscreen lights, great little reading nook lights, and then a uh, little accented light in the center. Every cabin's gonna have its outlets, its power outlets, and a smart thing that they do is they actually utilize some of the power points to work off the inverter. So if you're not running a generator at night, or you're not running a generator in, 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 at all, you still have power through the Victron inverters. Still, once again, great hull windows, opening portholes. The Venetian blinds are down, so we're not getting the true representation of it, but it's, it's natural light. Great TV, discreetly positioned into the wall. Another full length mirror in the door and a great, uh, a great storage cupboard with our friend Tigger. With the elegance line, we've got lovely leather hand grips on all the cupboard doors. I uh, have noticed that throughout. Onto the starboard side, bunk beds. Once again, adequate for kids. It's nice. It turns a, uh, a 68 foot into a four cabin boat, which when you look around a four in, uh, in the 68 foot range, having four cabins is, uh, is not that common, especially with that huge laundry area there, not tucked away in a little nook. Plenty of cupboard space once again. Really well used space everywhere. This is underneath the staircase coming down from upstairs and you still have full hanging closet. Plenty of room in there. That's, uh, that's a great little use of space. Now as we come forward, this is the VIP cabin. Now, this could be considered a master cabin on many a boats. You have, once again, a nice queen size bed, walk arounds, very easy to make the beds. This is a great cabin up here. Natural light, we're getting more of the natural light because we don't have the boats tucked right up alongside us, but it's, uh, it already feels so much brighter in here. With a little vanity, Preparation desk here, TV, and huge cupboards, both port and starboard. Everywhere you look, great use of space, little nooks and crannies everywhere to, uh, to stow things. Really, really impressed with this boat. To complement the VIP cabin up front, we have a equally as impressive ensuite. Rain shower head again. Another seating area. It's, it's, it's a great use of space. Obviously they have bidet options um, from Serena. So what is the, one of the lovely things of this boat? Walking straight out through the helm position out the side door here. We've got lots of great little storage, probably for, for boat cleaning, boat utensils. That's quite a long locker to put uh, brooms in and cleaning brushes. But Look at this here. We have got the best of both worlds. We've got another dining area up here. This is a, this is a cushion on top um, if you want to drop it down for another lounge. So you've got dining here, full lounge there. And if you want to, to be a part of the whole dining experience or people sitting here, we've got a, a reversible seat. This is great. Really well thought out. Nice sturdy mechanism of stainless there. And then for those who want to lounge up here, which is what it's made for. How good's this? This is awesome. We've got the 58 next to us to compare to, which we've uh, already previously videoed. Same concept, you've got a, a seating area which can have a table as well. That boat doesn't have the table. This is more of a U-shaped seating, but 
it's so much larger. Obviously we're a bigger boat, of course, but you get the best of both worlds. So if you want a 68 or a 58, you can still accomplish the same things. Tons of little accent lights recessed into the deck. Drink holders, there's no shortage of drink holders, which you've got to have, especially in Australia. Fusion stereo head unit up here so we can be in control of our own music up here. And we've got great big sturdy cleats for docking. The winch we don't need obviously in Australia for, uh, for our style of use, but we do have the standard um, Serena anchor system. As you'll see next door on the 58, you've got a reverse bow, which is very awesome. We love our reverse bows at EOTS. And then you've got a proud anchor, nice, big, sturdy, stainless system. Love it. Now look, as we're about to come down, I want to point out a few things here. Obviously with the Serena windows, nice and vertical, we've got an overlap of the, um, the coach roof. This is going to give us added protection, especially in Australia from the sun, but to drive this boat at night time, you've got great visibility, a lot more space inside. Where a traditional boat angles forward, you've just lost all that space. So we're using every inch of space on this boat. But for Australia, the air condition isn't on today. It's a really hot day and it's, uh, it's not even warm inside. As we walk down here, nice high bulwarks, teak capped, to, uh, to finish it off, which is lovely. But as I pointed out, when we walked down the stairs into the uh, accommodation space, we have a window recessed here. So you've got a cut out of the bulwarks here. The natural light is coming inside. It's a really smart, you don't see it very often on boats. And I think it's been executed be beautifully on, uh, on the Serena 68. I always feel comfortable walking around a Serena and, and you know he, we're here at a boat show where it's stationary. When you're out in the ocean and the boat's moving around, we're nice and high here. We've got plenty of width to play with. It's, uh, it's, it's very safe, especially if you've got kids. You don't have to be concerned. Or elderly, you've got plenty of places to walk and hold on to. The protection of the roof here is also great. You know, obviously it's not always nice weather, so we've got protection here. To the flybridge, quite important, and I always uh, look at the practicality of things, is, is the staircase. It is steep, but it's not overbearing. You've got plenty of depth of the step and great handholds the whole way up. Now, isn't this an entertainer's dream up here? Look at this preparation space for the benches. You've got plenty of storage. And if you come around here aft, this is what every Australian wants on their boat. A barbecue. Look at this barbecue area. This is definitely the, the central hub of the flybridge to be cooking up your steaks and sausages here. We've got refrigeration, ice makers. You've got this amazing bar here. Sink to wash up while you're uh, in preparation. Everything's a nice Corian finish. I love it. This is, this is an amazing boat, perfect boat for Australia and the way we, we go boating. To sit back here, beer in hand, your mate cooking the barbecue, it doesn't get much better. Obviously we've got the, the, the Euro warning back here, it's just a simple manually uh, in, uh, put up system. Carbon fibre poles. But it covers this whole whole back deck, like this whole flybridge is um, under cover and protected from the sun, which we need, but still got the air coming through here. A nice shower for here, which is obviously quite common with the Serena boats. It's a bit hot up here if you've got your uh, chase lounges on the back deck and you're, you're a bit hot from sunning yourself. Have a quick shower, rinse off. It's all going to go down into the drain here under our feet, which is uh, well positioned. Biggest flybridge in its category for sure. 68 foot boat. Very similar table to downstairs up here. We've got a nice timber table, inserts of stainless and black just to, just to add character to the table. Huge lounging area. This is a lovely feature, similar to the downstairs helm. We have for all our guests on board can be sitting here as we're driving along and watching the world go by. This table does drop down 
and a, uh, a cushion goes on top of it. So when it's down, this is all a big lounge pad. Now for me, this is always one of the most important places on a boat between here and the engine compartment. Everything looks pretty on board. Everything is always beautiful, but you know, this is the business end of town. Everything's very well ergonomically placed. Dual Garmin screens, engine monitoring screen here. You've got your controls, your engines. You can be standing while docking this boat and you've got full visibility down the starboard side. Your side power thrusters, which are very well overpowered. I've got control of the Garmin just next to me here. So whether it be the autopilot, playing with the charts, routing your maps, it's just a, a, a fingertip away, which is really nice. They're all touch screen to sit back here and just with a little mouse play with it, it's perfect. Now the smart thing with the Serena 68, and it's the same with the 58, is the upstairs flybridge, sorry, the upstairs control is on the starboard side. Downstairs, it's on the port side. So depending on where you're docking, you know, obviously up here we're gonna try and go a starboard side too, but if you're docking from downstairs, which I would personally do, there's plenty of uh, visibility to do it, you can be more comfortable on the port side docking down there. Very well placed. Now the lovely thing too with the Serena boats, these are a, a carbon fibre flybridge roof. The whole superstructure of the, the Serena is carbon fibre, so your centre of gravity and your weight up high is quite minimal. But with this roof, they've also taken weight out by having a, uh, an opening sunroof. Now it's a double up obviously. If you do want to be in the sun, open up the roof get the nice light in, especially in winter when things are a bit cold, but you can have a great sunny day. It's a really great feature and it softens the whole vibe up here by having this un material underlay, which is all waterproof, quickly hose it if it's salty, but it's very practical. Like all the models from Serena, being a semi-displacement, it has a, a central keel and it also has tunnel drives for the propellers. So we've got shallow draft, but also the, uh, the keel for stability. Now I know this boat doesn't have a, uh, a stabiliser on it. I just spoke with the captain who literally drove it from Istanbul in Turkey directly here for this boat show. He said they were going through four metre seas and he, and he was overly impressed with how well it handled. They're just an incredibly stable boat that can still do 26, 28 knots um, or cruise beautifully at 10, 12 knots, whatever you want. We get the best of both worlds, which isn't that common in this sector of the market. On the back deck here, we have a, uh, a tender on a hydraulic up and down platform. It's got integrated stairs that come from this section here of the, of the transom, straight down onto the platform when it's lowered into the water. It's a really great feature, but, and it's standard on the Serena. We've got a 3.8 metre dinghy, perfect for a boat of this size. And then straight on the back deck here, we've got a, uh, a door into a crew cabin or storage for, um, if you wish, and into the engine compartment. Look, now we're in the back uh, crew cabin here, or it could also be an extra cabin for some additional kids if you got them on board. It is still quite adequate. You've got storage here, obviously twin beds. You've got a bathroom here, but what is quite nice, the crew have their own little lounging area. They could eat here. You've got a, a little galley area and a fold up table here. If you don't want the crew cabin and all this, it can just be a lovely storage area, wet area for all your toys and, and, and boating needs. As we make our way into the engine compartment, in this engine room, it never disappoints me with any of the Serena boats. We've got D13 engines, 1,000 horsepower each by Volvo. We've got just over 2,500 litres of fuel on either side. 5,250 litres total, but everything's well placed. We've got easy access around for servicing, which is something that everyone needs to consider. So you've got Raycor filters, everything for general servicing is nice and easy. We have two generators on board this boat. This is the nine and a half, this would be the nighttime generator at nine and a half kilowatts. Tucked around on the starboard side, we have a 17 and a half kilowatt generator. We've got water desalination there, um, air conditioning, chargers, everything's very easily accessible. Air induction and extraction for, for the engines and the turbos. 
traditional shafts. It's, it's just a great, great boat and a great mechanical space. And I love my mechanical spaces. Down here, we've got some camera monitoring and we also have cameras around the boat for docking as well. So regardless of where you're at, you can be at the helm monitoring your engine compartment or when you're docking, the camera off the rear as well. This ladder takes us straight to the aft cockpit. I don't want to open it now as I know people are on board, but you know, underway, that's your safe access straight into here. All right, guys, that's the Serena 68. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Coming from you with the team at E Yachts at the Palmer Boat Show. For any more information, please give us a call or email. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.